What's up everyone, it's day 22 of phase two of the Live Hard program. I just completed my 45 minute outdoor workout. It's currently 10.28 p.m. I woke up this morning at about 6.30. I got down to the gym. I went about two and a half miles on the treadmill for my first 45 minute workout. After that, uh, Mackenzie and I ate breakfast. As you can tell, we're still at this resort. Let me show you the view again. You didn't see from yesterday. So we got some breakfast in, and then we went right across the street over there to the beach. This resort uh, beach house place has a private access to the beach, along with it's like a few other hotels are all like combined to the beach access right there with like loungers and umbrellas. So we went out in the water for about an hour and then laid on the beach for about 30 minutes and it was just so burning hot. Uh, there was no breeze at all, so we were just sitting there melting. Uh, after we got done with that, we came back and, you know, washed off and then uh, went to Publix. Since we're in Florida, we decided to go there instead of like Walmart. It's basically like that for a grocery store. And we got some stuff to have groceries here instead of me ordering in or having to go to different restaurants. It's a lot easier to stick to your diet if you cook your own food up and you know exactly what you're putting in your body because there's gonna be a lot of hidden calories in places that are cooking your food for you and you don't know how they're cooking it or what they're cooking it with. So it's better to just stick to your diet and cook your own stuff. So I got some meat, some eggs, some vegetables. Um, some sandwich meat, just because it's meat, it's easy to get. You know, you can just eat six ounces of sliced uh, turkey and that's your meat for the your meal. So, I mean, that's your protein for your meal. So it's just a convenient way that I do it, especially whenever I'm traveling and working on, out on the road. Sandwich meat, a lot of the time, is the main uh, meat source I'll use to get my protein in. I remember back, like, I've been working out for like 23 years now. So whenever I was working on the drilling rigs back in 2008, um, I would eat like packets of tuna or just straight tuna. This was before they even had like the flavored tuna packets. This stuff was just, uh, oh wow, I think it's lightning strike. But uh, this stuff was just plain, not even albacore is a cheap one. So kind of upped up, upgraded a little bit by going to sandwich meat. Uh, it tastes way better. I can't stand tuna nowadays. But we got s all that situated, and then we went down and hit the weight room. She actually just ran on the treadmill, and I hit some uh, some back and some biceps and some triceps. Um, it's a nice little facility. It's on the sixth floor, so it has a nice little view overlooking everything. And um, what did we do after that? We came back up here. We ate some dinner. We've just been chilling and I guess waited till it was kind of, you know, manageable to go outside and get my workout done. I was basically being a wimp and talking myself out of it all day until the last minute, like just like I just did it right now because it was cooled off. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and do it early as the sun's rising. Um, the sun rises like literally right across the way right there at about 6 a.m. So... It's not that it's going to be any cooler, it's just not going to be bright and sunny if you do it earlier, if you do it late. Like right now, it's still really humid and <clears throat> probably 82 degrees, but got it done. Managed to finish everything. I'm done with all my tasks. Oh, I got to take my picture actually. And I already read, I already drank my water and I already uh, did my workouts. So um, just, your, just a reminder that you can go on the trip. There's some crazy lightning out there. You can go on the trip and you can still get your tasks done, whether they're part of the Live Hard program or your own personal goals that you're trying to achieve and the tasks that you know you need to do. You can't let, you, it's easy to let things get in the way, but you can also decide that you're not gonna let things get in the way and you can still live your life. You can still hang out with your friends. You can still go on the trips. Even if it's a matter of think, you thinking you're not gonna be able to um, get for as far along you're going to lose momentum you're not going to lose momentum if you take a break for three or four days and then get back to it if you you go like a week or two weeks then you're going to start losing momentum for sure 
But if you have a little getaway, it's a nice little recharge. But my favorite thing is literally being on the beach and just sitting there with my feet in the sand and the, and the breeze coming in off the, the ocean. It's my favorite thing. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I don't ever like walk around barefoot at home. So if I don't do that any other time, except for when I'm at the beach. So I think that's why I look forward to it the most. If I would just walk around barefoot and ground when I'm at home, which I don't because my yard is full of stickers, sticker weeds. Um, but I'll have to figure that out because that's like one of the best things you do. I think that's one of the reasons why I like being out there on the beach so much, just that recharge that you get from, you know, just walking around barefoot. But so I feel good today. I'm looking forward to going back out there on the beach tomorrow and get some more of a tan going and get some more uh, just refreshing. Hopefully there's a nice little breeze tomorrow because that's like my favorite thing. But today we were just out there melting. It was gross. Uh, it's it was like 90 degrees, but it said it felt like 100 with the humidity. But and it's been over 100 the last few days in where I live in Texas, and it just it was different. It's way more humid, even though it's still kind of humid where I live. It's not anywhere near this, so it felt just as bad, even though it was a little bit cooler technically. But uh, just got to deal with it. It's, it's June. What do you expect? It's not going to be, you know, August. I mean. Uh, October weather, but that'd probably be a good time to come out here. I don't really know, actually. I think it's just 80 to 90 degrees. The, the low is 80, the high is 90. I think it's like that most of the year. It might be like 70 and 80 in the cool months, but I don't know. Maybe it's just extra humid today, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. It's just another day to get these tests done. Coming up on the last few days of this, so I'm just gonna finish strong. Um, I, I did weigh myself before I left my house I changed my battery on my scale because I wanted to weigh our suitcase and I'm down to 220 so I uh, started at 230 dropped 10 pounds that's pretty good for 20 yesterday was 21 days so 20 21 days 10 pounds pretty good but uh, I feel like it yeah, I feel like I'm looking a little bit better and the results came because I've been doing what I need to do with my eating and my workouts uh, the uh, I lost the word the uh, difficultness of my workouts has been pushing me to, you know, burn more calories and having a goal in mind whenever I do my workouts about how many calories I have. Like whenever I was doing my stepper at the last week while I was at the workplace, I would try to get to 500 calories burned on my watch because it would put me like right around 47 minutes or so. So that was my goal to at least try to get that each morning, which is rough. Like you, I was, was literally rolling out of bed and on the stair stepper thing within like less than 10 minutes. So it just wasn't, wasn't always like motivating just thinking that about that. Oh, I gotta get up and go do that right now. But f forcing yourself to go do those things, it makes you feel good. And two, it gets you closer to where you wanna go. Whether it's just because you wanna look better or it's just changing your mindset to where you can, do, can determine that doing hard things are gonna put you closer to where you wanna go than doing the easy path and looking at things for what they are instead of what you want them to be and deciding each time you're about to make a decision, is this gonna help me or is this gonna hurt me? Those are the things that you can use to basically uh, check yourself whenever you have times where you're questioning things. But anyways, so I go, I'm sweating, I get the sh shower and then hit the go to sleep, I guess. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for day 23. Peace.